When playing games on the PS5 console, some LG C1 and C2 owners prefer to enable black frame insertion or BFI to reduce motion blur, or even switch to a non-game picture preset, and use some motion interpolation to smooth out the inherent stutter in 30 FPS games at the expense of input lag. However, a few months ago, a PS5 system update has locked out these settings, such that when you summon the picture menu on your LG C1 or C2 OLED, and went into the clarity submenu, most of the picture settings would be greyed out and unavailable, including the true motion setting, which means that users could no longer engage black frame insertion when playing PS5 games. Even if you switched to another non-game picture mode and went into the clarity submenu again, the same picture settings remain greyed out, so you couldn't enable smooth gradation or motion interpolation to improve your PS5 gaming experience either. This phenomenon was caused by Sony secretly implementing a feature called ALLM or Auto Low Latency Mode, which is intended to automatically kick your TV into game mode to achieve the lowest input lag for the most responsive gameplay experience. But the Japanese brand forgot to include an off switch. Fortunately, after many user complaints and us publishing a video to raise awareness, Sony has included an ALLM on-off toggle in the latest system update of 22.1-5.50. All you need to do is to go into the screen and video submenu on your PS5, scroll down, and you will see the new ALLM setting. The default value is automatic, which is ALLM on. So once you switch ALLM off, summon the LG user menu by long pressing the settings button on your Magic Remote then go into the Clarity submenu while in Game Optimizer mode, you will see that you have regained access to most of the picture settings including True Motion, allowing you to enable Black Frame Insertion or BFI to improve motion clarity on your LG C1 or C2 while playing PS5 games. Note that just like what's written in the description for the ALM setting, the PS5 console will enable ALM when VRR is engaged, even when ALM is switched off. So if you are playing a VR game such as Ratchet & Clank Rift Apart on the PS5, some picture settings including True Motion will become greyed out and unavailable, which makes sense because VR and Black Frame Insertion are mutually exclusive on most televisions due to difficulties in syncing up the frames. If you would prefer to use BFI when playing such games, you will have to go back into the screen and video submenu on your PS5 and disable VRR altogether, after which you will see that once you go back into the game and summon the TV menu, go into the clarity submenu, most picture settings including true motion and black frame insertion will become available again. However, before you start tinkering with these settings, you might be interested in knowing the best picture settings on an LG OLED television for playing PS5 games. I've actually done a walkthrough video demonstrating the best LG OLED settings for the PS5, so go watch my instruction video by clicking here.